There are two methods for converting percents to decimals. I would recommend method one if you're allowed to use a calculator. I would recommend method number two if you do not have access to a calculator. Method number one. Step one is to remove the percent sign. Step two is to divide by 100. 45 divided by 100 equals 0 0.45. 7.5 divided by 100 equals 0 0.075. 120 divided by 100 equals 1 1.2. And it's just that simple. Now on to method number two. Method number two also has two steps. There's only one slight difference in the first step. Step one is to remove the percent sign and add a decimal. So you can see the 7.5 already has a decimal, but we do need to add a decimal to both the 45 and the 120. Now we can move on to step number two. Step number two is to move the decimal two spaces to the left. So when we move the decimal two spaces to the left on the first problem, we are left with 0 0.45. When we move the decimal point two spaces to the left on the second problem, we are left with 0 0.075. And when we move the decimal point two spaces to the left on the last problem, we are left with 1.2. Now it is your turn. You can choose either of the methods to convert the percentages into decimals. I would recommend you pause the video now and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. I'm going to use method number one to convert these percents to decimals. Step one is to remove the percent sign. Step two is to divide by 100. And now we have our decimal equivalents. 86% is equal to 0.86. 4.6% is equal to 0.046. And 150% is equal to 1.5.